Are you ready to make the last hallelujah? Somebody, if God gave you life, if it's the life you are living, belongs to God. If the end you are living, belongs to God. If the event you are you are right now, belongs to God. If the life you are walking with, belongs to God.
I might not have the best voice in this place, but I just want you to know that the words that comes out from every man of God is meaningful. It's all about God. I'm going to be singing this song. songs. I will sing one in Ghana. Please don't mind me. You can follow up. Then I will still sing one in English. Amen. Yeah. I'm not going to be going too professional because I'm a holy man. I'm not going to be going too professional because we didn't have a, a mask we have. We're going to do it like a freestyle. Thank God for this, brothers and sisters. God bless you. Just try your best, you know. Do what you can do. But if you don't, just, you know, just make it professional. And I want to thank God for Pastor Alfred. I'm so sure. He told me I didn't know where I was sing. You know, I was misbehaving and they deported me to Nigeria. I leave my beginning. Everybody. I left my boy when I was when my boy was four years old, and I came back from Nigeria six years later. And the first time I saw my boy singing on first day, did live video. I said, Jesus, when I saw him sing like this, they said, "Our pastor Alfred works." You know, I said, "God, dude, that is that is that's the way it is." Because I always want my son love to sing, but I don't want him to sing in a worldly way. You understand? Because I know that it's profitable. You understand? If any talent you have, hey, this is my brother was there, brother. Uh, I was coming, I saw I, I was in the train and my friend called me. He knows my pastor. He told me about Pastor Alfred. He said Pastor Alfred who kept him at home when he was homeless. And I said, come, let's go to church. He said, brother, I said, we got a drink. He said, immediately I called him, I said, come, drink. They get stage and you will not come. I said, come, this problem you are facing will never end. Because the problem solver is calling on you and you are not going to him. Yes, sir. I told somebody in the town, said, how much they pay me? Where they go? I said, come, I'm going to say to worship God, not to collect money. Because what God is going to give me is better than what the pastor or whoever he might going to give it to me. See, until we learn to trust and believe in God. You will never get anything. Do you understand? I know what I'm talking about. I, I, I should have been more than this, but what he has to my life. You understand? But each time I'm always going, God will draw me back. Show me. 